Buildings have huge impacts on our natural environment and these impacts need to be reduced dramatically. In developed countries, buildings account for a significant part of resource consumption, greenhouse gas emissions and waste generation. Figures for the rest of the world will rise rapidly as construction increases to meet the needs of a growing population. Our stakeholders expect a lot and, increasingly, the market is demanding evidence of sustainability. Building sustainably has certainly become a key requirement for all major contractors and architects. Skanska AB is a large Swedish construction company. Uh, we're one of the largest in the world. We see a big growing demand for green buildings uh, and green infrastructure. We have strong relationship with the uh, local authority, the architects, the land planners, uh, the inhabitants. In France today, it will be impossible to invest into a non-green building. We are architects and engineers. In our firm, we are uh, among, by Indian standards, we are one of the largest uh, in mm -hmm. the country. Uh, being an architect uh, in Scandinavia, uh, I would say that sustainability is really within our DNA. Now we know there is a climate change and we know that we have to do something and we know that our industry is really responsible f for using so much energy. Uh, we cannot afford to house everyone in the world. We're at about seven billion if we house them all in the way we did in the past, we're in trouble. We just can't afford that ecologically. Our current five-year business plan includes green chapters for every market. And each business unit has a clearly defined target for the end of the business plan in 2015. So I think there would be absolutely a good business because people want to have these green houses because what we are creating today is not for us, it's for the future and it's for our children. The building industry as a whole is moving towards more sustainable construction. Organizations such as the World Green Building Council are helping to accelerate the pace, both in developed and in emerging countries. In some ways quite uh, incredible that during one of the toughest financial periods the growth of the green building market has continued and really that is because green building is a uh, smart building. The World Green Building Council is the largest international organisation of its type trying to influence the world green building market. We've now got more than 85 countries worldwide and represent something like 30,000 members on a global scale. We have architects, engineers, uh, financiers, developers. Also uh, lawyers, advisors, governments, uh, universities, non-governmental organizations. Buyers want advice and guarantees. This is why voluntary labeling schemes are flourishing all over the world. Uh, today, as an investor, I pay a lot of attention to the uh, certification, to the label, to bring the evidence to our tenants that the building we offer is really fully consistent with the uh, highest requirements in terms of sustainable development. So labeling is a very uh, important uh, issue. I think any building product manufacturer will have to label his building product as to what its thermal performance is and what its life cycle uh, carbon footprint is. The Indian needs are so huge in terms of building and building related uh, issues that if they do not go the sustainable way, they're heading for a disaster. It makes a lot of business sense and people uh, do understand this very, very well. It's like, you know, buying food and you, nowadays you'd really want to know what's in the food we eat. So this is going to be the same in the buildings. We, 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 we want it labelled. From the governmental point of view, this will be also something that will be uh, one we look upon. It is also why new standards, policies and regulations are being developed. By 2020, the renovation and construction of buildings and infrastructure will be made to high resource efficiency levels. The life cycle approach will be widely applied. All new buildings will be nearly zero energy and highly material efficient. 70% of non-hazardous construction and demolition waste will be recycled. The challenge of transforming our economies onto a resource efficient growth path is enormous. Today, green policy is evolving 
from energy reduce uh, approach to a life cycle approach. In that case, the type of the materials, uh, the type of the windows, the type of the facades, uh, the process of, of, of the constructions are uh, turning into a very important key issue. So we need partners who can supply the materials or the technologies which allow us to produce a green building or a sustainable piece of infrastructure. We can't do it on our own. Manufacturers have to take a lead. Saguba is such a big company, really, so it has a very high and big responsibility. And we will need companies like Sangaban to deliver our 2015 business plan. We all want to make money. If you want to make money in the future, you have to be the best in life enhancing and life sustaining. And the essence of that is sustainable building. This is business unusual, and that's probably how we should work together in an unusual way.